Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge where we are once again back with a few wild animals whose genes we will mix, we will match, and we will hybridize into brand new creatures. And today to continue to celebrate how hyped and excited I am about Planet Zoo and you guys will see why you haven't seen the Planet Zoo beta just yet pretty soon. Let's just say there's something going on you'll enjoy. But I wanted to have a couple of the animals who will be showing up in Planet Zoo join us today and see what their hybrids would look like. So today we actually have Cassandra, the wild zebra, who has uh, begun to stray from the herd and she is actually going to bump in to Olivia, the tiger. So in fact, you're not an Akita anymore, Olivia. You have been transformed into a tiger. Thank you very much. There we go. There we go. And I'm very excited about this because I really love both species. Tigers are just so stunningly beautiful. They are one of my favorite big cats, which is very interesting because you would think that with the lion's social dynamics and the fact that cougars actually do live in my country and the fact that jaguars, cheetahs, and leopards all have spots and you guys know how much I love spotted animals. Well, you would really think that just perhaps I would really be in, like, to all those cats, but there's something majestic about a tiger that, just between you and me, has always made it one of my favorites. So, I thought, why don't we go ahead and we grab tigers and we take another set of stripes, the zebra, both of these species being animals that will, like I said, be coming in Planet Zoo, which I'm so excited about. And we will go ahead and crossbreed stripes versus stripes today and see what the results will be. Will we end up getting a maned, a maned tiger? Will we end up with a, you know, a, a zebra who has different colored stripes? There's quite a few interesting combinations we could have in this. Also, just to point out, this is once again, a Grevy's zebra, a subspecies of zebra who is the most threatened subspecies in the wild and has the biggest, poofiest ears. And I just, I love them. They are definitely one of my favorites. Probably because I saw some information about them on the zoo uh, San Diego, which is one of my favorite shows to watch ever. I love it. But alright guys, so let's go ahead and let's mix stripes with stripes today. I can only imagine that Olivia has been wandering. Well, tigers don't really overlap whatsoever with where zebras live, so perhaps, perhaps Olivia was actually brought to some sort of facility where they had several big cats on for display for extremely eccentric and rich people who wanted to coo over them in their own private zoo. However, the riches were established on a criminal enterprise that thankfully justice was able to come in and take down the evil owners. Uh, and the animals were being transported back into the wild or to sanctuaries and zoos around the world. But Olivia managed to escape using one of the bulls holes that had been built for the evil criminal baron to be able to escape from the cops from. However, he didn't. He got caught. So Olivia, there you go. There is your backstory that I just literally pulled out of thin air. I kind of love it. It's very challenging. She's faced a lot in her life. Perhaps as a cub, she didn't even grow up in the wild. So perhaps it makes sense that as she sets out into this wilderness, the savanna around her, and she bumps into a zebra, she just attaches to the first thing she sees, which are those stripes. And Cassandra here, uh, who I guess is gonna be a, the boy for a minute, so Cassie, as we'll call him. But Cassie here, he is kind of surprised to see a tiger approach him. Is it a zebra? Is it a lion? He can't really tell. It kind of looks a little bit like both, but he does know what he likes, and it's her stripes. So, with the two stripes for that beautiful dappling camouflage on both, well, camouflage on the tiger and actually uh, visual distortion on the zebra, let's do this. Whew, they had quite the backstory. Gosh, that got much more dramatic than I was expecting. <gasps> That's a little mouse and it's adorable, but not the one that we are going to have today. All right, Cassie, Olivia, your first child. <gasps> Oh, a little one! And that's actually not demonized. Those eyes are the dark orange color instead. But I had, but we ended up with another mouse! Hi, little one! And the 
this little one is actually Jasmine. So welcome Jasmine to our litter of who knows what these even are. Let's see, Zygers? Zygers! What a cool name! We have a litter of Zygers underway. So Jasmine, welcome. You are stubborn, vocal, and playful. I'm very excited to see what you grow up into being. I'm kind of shocked you don't have stripes though. All right, let me go ahead and get the next name. And as usual, you guys, if you would like to toss your name in to become one of the animals in our Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, all you have to do is leave your comments down below. Also, keep those suggestions coming. I actually have ended up having so many suggestions piled up. I am so excited for the crossbreeds that you guys have come up with, like koalas, like meager cats. We've got a lot of cool things coming. Keep it coming, guys. Uh, but all right. Now the random name generator has pulled up the next name. And now we have... Stripes, stripes, stripes! Yes, I'm so excited! Yes, oh my gosh. And this little one is going to be Kawaii-chan, which kind of makes me laugh so hard. So Kawaii-chan, thank you very much for your comment. I am so tickled by your name, by the way. And we're going to go ahead and see what you turn into now that we have this mix. This is so fun. You cannot produce uh, milk, but you can be an independent glutton who is a sleuth. Yes, we have two tigers and or we have one little tiger and both the babies so far have the orange eyes. Again, that is not the bright red of the demon eyes. Trust me very much. Uh, I, I know that that's not the mix there. But let's try this. All right, next up, next up. Oh, I would love a little zebra. Are we gonna get more stripes? Stripes, 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 stripes. Stripes! We have another little one who is a tiger. Oh my gosh, are we gonna have maned tigers? Cause that would be really cool. So this is actually gonna be Kimberly, spelled like this. Oh, I like that spelling. It's a very unusual spelling and I, it's quite, quite interesting. And of course, if you have your, you know, your spelling of Kimberly, like the usual spelling, that's cool too. Just definitely, definitely, I, I like it. All right, independent, active, and vocal. Welcome to the family. Let me go ahead and get the new name. And here we go, here we go. New little one. Oh, we really had to think about that for some reason. I guess it's stripes on stripes. Stripe, 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 stripe. <gasps> Another tiger! Another little tiger mouse! Oh, this is so exciting! Okay, guys, I would like you all to welcome Riverbank Otter Happy. What a cool name. We're gonna go ahead and give you the name Riverbank. And you cannot produce milk and you cannot produce wool, so we'll roll again. You still can't produce wool no matter how fluffy and cute you are. And you are a friendly troublemaker who is jumpy. That sounds adorable. Oh my gosh. All right. Let me get the next name. All right. All right. One, two, three, four. So far, we're having quite the little herd slash litter of tigers. But will we end up with zebra stripes? Either way. Stripe, 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 stripe. <gasps> Another one. What the heck? We have so many tigers. So many cute little tiger mixes this time. All right, Leanne, welcome to the group. I'm so excited to see you. Let's see what your traits are. You are an active, loyal, smart zyger. That's what we're calling them. All right, active, loyal, smart zybra. Zyger, there we go. All right, let's try breeding from the tiger first and see if we have any more luck with the stripes. <gasps> Look at you. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, we ended up with a melanistic one. Oh, how cool. I can totally get behind that too. So we have possibly a melanistic tiger or possibly a melanistic uh, zebra. We have to grow you up and see. All right, so this is going to be Willow. Thank you so much for your kind comments, Willow. Oh wait, you want to be named Emily. Okay, we'll go by Emily. <laughs> Welcome, Emily. So you are a smart, friendly, hairy little one. And we're gonna go ahead and see. 
what will we get? Are they going to end up having the main and are they going to end up having the hooves or not? Are they going to be more like their gigantic eared Grevy's zebra father, Cassie? Or more like their tiger mother, Olivia, who is just grateful to find someone who knows what the heck is going on in the savannah. All right, Jasmine, you're up first. <gasps> Jasmine, you're a little tiger. Or at least you you were kind of a little tiger. You're kind of like maybe an albino tiger. And Jasmine actually inherited the mane. <laughs> so we actually have a maned tiger, just like I was really hoping we would get. So let's go ahead and give her a cool mane. Let's make it match as much as we can. That's pretty good. Do I have one that's just kind of gray? No. Maybe this one, the white one. <gasps> Let's go with the zebra stripe one, just because. Like, I don't know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and do, yeah, the zebra stripe one. <laughs> All right, Jasmine, you're really not what I thought you would end up being. Uh, oh, and you do actually have the face as well. So I need to find, where's my horse face? There it is. All right, so you're actually kind of like a, I'm not even sure what to call you, but I'm like, like a horse, I guess a horse with the body of a cat. Huh. All right. Next up, Kawaii chan Let's go ahead and grow you up and see what you're going to be. I rolled the dice to see what you'd inherit. <gasps> Kawaii chan look at your ears. All right, guys, Kawaii Chan is actually tiger through and through and has not inherited. Oh my gosh, look at that tiny tail. <laughs> she has inherited a tiny, tiny zebra tail, but otherwise, she has not inherited the mane, she has not inherited the face, and she has not inherited the hooves. So she is tiger through and through. Let's go ahead and see if the same can be said for her sister, Kimberly. Kimberly? <gasps> Kimberly! Kimberly, you're so different compared to your siblings. And Kimberly also has not inherited the mane. She has not inherited the face and she has not inherited the hooves. So Kimberly is just a little bit, a little bit of a gangly thing. And she has the tiny little tail too, which is so cute. All right, so far so good. Riverbank, you're up next. <gasps> Riverbank. You are everything I didn't know I actually wanted in my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Riverbank has actually inherited the mane and the hooves, but not the face. So let's, let, I'm, I'm really tickled about this. Like, I don't even know what kind of tiger we have just created, but it's quite awesome if you ask me. Let's see, how am I gonna get just the right coloration for our mane? <gasps> yes! for our main tigers. Oh, we need those, those hooves. There we go. Uh, maybe a little darker. There we go. Look at Riverbank. Awesome. This is the kind of stuff that you get when you breed these animals and never really expect. Like I would never go out of my way to make this animal happen, but here it is and it's fantastic. Oh my gosh, Riverbank. Like I just, hang on. We've got to, we've got to admire Riverbank for a second more. Look at that face. Look at those ears. Look at that beautiful mane. That tiny little tail. The petite little hooves. I love everything about this. This is amazing. We just ended up having a whole litter of like tigers at this point who turned out to be so much more. Leanne, let me go ahead and roll to see what you may or may not inherit. And? <gasps> She's got the big old ears too, but she, oh, and the tail, the fluffy tiny little tail, but she has actually not inherited anything else. So Leanne will not have the mane, she will not have the face, and she will not have the hooves, but I think she is beautiful regardless. Just look at those ears. Look at them. And finally, Emily, our little melanistic one. Let's go ahead and see what you will inherit. I rolled the dice. Oh, very large. We're looking good. And we are actually inheriting everything. Which means that little Emily here is going to be, and I think I'm going to go ahead, maybe do all black to make her really match the like melanistic tones. 
There we go. <laughs> but little Emily is going to be an extra fluffy melanistic zebra. And I kind of love the look of it. She reminds me of something. What on earth do you remind me of? Probably like a moose. That's kind of what Emily reminds me of because she's so big. But look at those fluffy ears. Wow, I did not expect these kinds of mixes too. Like there's something very interesting about breeding the tiger with that big old face. And I really, really love, where is she? I actually love how Riverbank turned out. This is fantastic. I like, come on. Never in my wildest dreams would I have put that creature together. And I like Emily, but she does, because she doesn't have the stripes, she does remind me of other things. So I wonder what it is, huh? You, you tickle my mind with thoughts of some sort of mythical creature, Emily. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This has been a mix of stripes on stripes with the tigers clearly coming out in the lead. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our little ones, since you know Olivia is trying to adjust to the wild. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.